I'm calling it, guys. Edgar is going to break Brawl Stars. Hello, fellow Brawlers. I'm Kyra Simon. It is time for the Edgar Olympics. You guys know the drill. We'll start the video by breaking down Edgar's mechanics. We'll put him against every other Brawler in the Brawl Stars Olympic tests. And you guys already know that I think he's going to be super strong. So make sure you watch to the end of the video so you understand why I think he's going to break the game. <laughs> make sure you go back and watch Byron's Olympics video if you missed that. Edgar Overview. Edgar is an epic Brawler whose Supercell is giving to us for free this Brawl of Days. And it will not hurt your legendary drop rate. After Brawl Days is over, he will be obtainable in Brawl Boxes, which means I'm going to have to do something very special for his box opening challenge. So make sure you let me know what you think I should do. Edgar is an edgy teenager, and he is a part of the gift shop trio with Colette. As you can see, he pretends to be a little bit of a rebel, and let's face it, this is an angry kid. He also loves parkour. I could do this if I wanted to. <laughs> Back on the grind. Yeah! So awesome. Edgar's attack Fight Club. For his attack, he throws out a couple of quick punches and his scarf punches along with him. Each attack deals twice in almost every single situation. Even if Edgar attacks from just like one side, both punches will hit. The only way I can make only one punch land is if the target is barely within range and Edgar is backing away so that only one of them hits. So you don't really have to worry about missing shots as long as the enemy is within range. Edgar's attack also heals himself whenever he attacks an enemy brawler for 25% of water damage he deals, which makes him really unique. Edgar's super, Vault. For a super, he jumps very similarly to El Primo with a couple of differences. He doesn't actually deal damage with his super, he gets a temporary speed boost after he lands, and his super automatically charges like Daryl's does. Another interesting thing is that when El Primo jumps close to himself, he immediately stomps the ground, but Edgar actually jumps more a little bit more like Piper, right? Because he loves parkour, and he wants to be in the air as long as possible to show off his skills. Edgar's gadget, let's fly. When Edgar activates his gadget, his super charges seven times faster for three seconds. In other words, Edgar's gadget charges his super up 78% over those three seconds. And the charging even continues to work while Edgar is in the air from a previous super. This allows Edgar to start charging up his super as soon as he jumps, deal some damage, maybe grab some gems, and then jump right back into safety. Edgar's star power, hard landing. With his star power equipped, Edgar's super will also deal 1,000 damage to nearby enemies when he lands. For reference, that's 200 damage less than El Primo's El Fuego star power power, but it happens instantly rather than over four seconds. The area that this super damage is shown on the screen like this, but when you don't have a super, aiming a super is going to look a little bit more like what Piper's super looks like. Now that we know how Edgar works, it's time for us to show how well he does in each of the Brawl Stars Olympics events. We'll start with his worst tests and move our way up to his best test, then we'll end the video talking about why I think he's going to break Brawl Stars. If you're liking what you're seeing, guys, make sure you guys use code Kyrson Brawl Stars Shop, and every gem that you spend will actually help support my channel. K-A-I. R-O-S code Kairos in the Brawl Star Shop because it's the coolest code in the game. Gosh. Okay, well, that's how I sounded as an edgy teenager. <laughs> the attack range test. Edgar has the shortest attack range in the game with a range of two and two thirds tiles. That is one third tile shorter than Jackie's and El Primo's ranges, and it's an entire tile shorter than Rosa's. This means that Edgar really has to be up close to enemies in order to deal damage to them. The attack test. Edgar deals 1,512 damage with nearly every single ammo. This places him in 35th place out of the 43 brawlers in the game for the attack damage test. Now with three attacks, he's able to deal 4,536 damage, which is enough to take out 23 of the 43 brawlers in the game, including Leon, Mr. P, Terra, Max, and a few others. Honestly though, Edgar's unload and reload speed is so fast that he's able to unload four ammo before most brawlers can even unload three. With four ammo, he can deal 6,048 damage, which is enough to take out 34 brawlers in the game, including Nita and Poco. That is a lot of damage very fast. The Area Test. Edgar is only able to clear four skulls with his attack and 33 skulls with his super, which places him in 34th for this test. This is a really good indicator that he is not very good at controlling large parts of the field. The Survival Test. Edgar only has 4,200 health at max level, which is the same as Sprout. This makes him a very squishy brawler, but he is able to heal himself a bit whenever he attacks brawlers. Unfortunately, he's not able to heal a bunch off of the sniper bot because he doesn't have very much HP, so Edgar only survives for 12.4 seconds. He ends up in 28th out of the 43 brawlers, and I think Edgar's going to be better at surviving than this placement would actually suggest. The Super Range Test 
Edgar has a super range of six and one third tiles. That is a super short super range. And for reference, El Primo actually jumps two and one third tiles further. However, when Edgar does have his star power, he does get a three tile radius boost for a total super range of nine and one third tiles, placing him in 28th place. The super test. Now, technically, Edgar doesn't deal any damage with his super, but with his star power, he deals 1000 damage. This places him in 27th place for this test. Honestly, though, it's just because quite a few brawlers in the game don't actually have supers that deal damage at all. The Assassin Test. Brawlers have three seconds to deal as much damage as possible in the Assassin Test. Edgar's able to deal 8,804 damage in three seconds, which places him in 26th place. I think Edgar is going to be a much better Assassin than that placement would actually suggest, because almost all of his damage comes from just his attack, plus his healing and jumping mechanics make him kind of like the perfect Assassin. The Swarm Test. Edgar is able to clear the swarm in 8.8 .8 seconds, which ties him with Brock and Crow for 26th place. With some finer movements and a little bit of practice, he probably could have performed slightly better, but the fact that his star power leaves the bots with 500 HP remaining means that Edgar takes a little bit more time to clear the swarm than he would like to. I don't actually think Edgar's gonna be great at dealing with multiple targets, because even though he can heal, his HP is low enough that he can't survive heavy fire for more than one enemy at a time. The Dive Test. By jumping from the very edge of the Ike zone, Edgar is able to get close to the turret very quickly and deal 648 damage before getting taken out. This places him in 24th and is pretty awesome considering the fact that his HP is so low. This shows that Edgar can't take too much heavy fire up close, but he'll be able to deal a decent amount of damage before he falls. Now the following tests are the tests where Edgar is actually better than more than half the brawlers in the game. The boss test. The boss test helps us understand how much damage a brawler can do over a long period of time. Typically, it includes damage from all sources, including super and super recharge, but Edgar only has the help from his attack and his star power, which in turn actually helps from his gadget recharging his super. And Edgar is able to take out the boss in 51.6 seconds, which puts him in 19th place. This is actually really incredible considering the fact that almost all of his damage is just coming from his attack. This is proof that you do not want Edgar alone on your safe in heist or even on you because he can dish out a lot of damage very quickly. The Supercharge Test Edgar's super automatically charges itself in 30 seconds, which is actually just the same amount of automatic charging as Daryl's super. Now, without auto charging, he requires nine punches to fully charge up his super, which he can do in 2.4 seconds. But with his gadget in place, he can charge his super in only 1.4 seconds, which puts him in eighth place for this test. Just so you guys are aware, Edgar's super does not actually recharge his super at all because it doesn't actually deal damage without his star power. The Self-Heal Test now, I have not measured all brawlers on how quickly they can heal themselves, but Edgar is able to completely heal himself 4,000 health in 8 seconds with the self-healing effect that he gets from his attack. That's not a very fast self-healing if you compare him to brawlers like Byron or Poco or Pam, but it is way better than almost every other brawler in the game, so I wanted to mention it here as one of his best Olympic tests. The Race Test Edgar has a very fast movement speed, which means that he's able to go just as fast as Crow, Max, and Mortis without any other abilities in place. In a race test, he can use his super, which jumps him forward and gives him a temporary speed boost on top of that. Now he finishes the race in 8.8 .8 seconds, which actually ties him with El Primo and Crow for third place. The Reload Test. Edgar is able to completely unload and reload 10 attacks in 9 seconds flat. This means that he has a 0.9 total reload speed, which is the third fastest in the game. Technically, Amber is first, but I don't actually feel like that really counts because she has like 40 little ammo and one ammo bar. So really the only brawler that has a faster reload speed is Carl spamming his attack right next to a wall. Edgar's reload speed is faster than B's, it's faster than Bull when his Berserker star power is activated, and it's even faster than Max with her run and gun star power while she's running super fast because of her super. And while we're at it, I think that he has the fastest unload speed in the game, which means that he can output his three ammo faster than every single brawler in the game. Keeping Edgar out of range is really just going to be your best bet in facing him because if he gets close to you, you're going to lose in a 1v1 situation every time. Coming up last, we have Edgar's best Brawl Olympics event and then we're going to talk about how strong I think he's going to be. The Box Test. The box test is designed to see how much potential a brawler has to ramp up in power in Showdown. If brawlers can deal damage to more than one box at a time, they're only allowed to attack one cluster of boxes at a time. 
As you can see, Edgar absolutely shreds through these boxes. He requires four ammo to take out his first box, which isn't really a problem because his reload speed is so fast. And once he has four power cubes, he can take out boxes with three ammo. Edgar is able to complete the box test in 18.9 seconds. And although I have not measured every brawler in this test yet, I can't think of a single brawler that can ramp up their power and showdown faster than Edgar can. So I'm going to say that he's first in the box test for right now. Let me know if you want to see a box test Olympics video in the future. So why do I think that Edgar is going to break the game? Well, there are two main reasons. The first reason is because literally everybody in the game is going to get him for free on the same day. The last time something like that happened was when Rosa was released and uh, I think a lot of us are going to have flashbacks. <laughs> it was very fun, but literally Rosa was everywhere. But the second reason why I think Edgar is going to break the game is because he is strong. And not only is he strong, he is a ton of fun to play. Edgar honestly is kind of like how I wish Supercell would have buffed Crow. But now that Edgar's in the game, obviously I don't want that. So they're going to have to figure out some other way to make Crow relevant in 3v3 matches. Edgar's always jumping in and out of action. He can easily dodge shots because of how fast his movement speed is. And once you get close to an enemy, they are done for. I think he's going to be an S tier brawler in gem grab because of how good he is at assassinating gem carriers and running away with the gems. I've already shown how much he can ramp up in solo showdown. So he's definitely going to be the S tier there. It's a good chance he'll be S tier in duo showdown as well. He definitely has the DPS potential to do well in heist. However, he might not have enough HP to justify his short range to be S tier. We'll see. I'll let you guys know in a future tier list video. And I think that Edgar's going to be either S or A tier in bounty because of how well his super counters the meta brawlers in bounty. He's going to be S tier in brawl ball as an amazing ball carrier. For present plunder, he's going to be S tier because of how easy it is for him to steal presents. In siege, he's going to be so good at picking up bolts and dealing damage on enemy bots on defense. He'll probably be S tier, but Possibly not, just because he can't really get close to an enemy Ike in order to deal damage without uh, dying himself. And I think that he's going to be A or S here in Hot Zone. I might be wrong, but I think Edgar's going to be way too strong on release, and I honestly cannot wait because everybody's going to have him. And it's going to be Edgar everywhere. And it's like, it's, it's not going to be Brawl Stars. It's going to be Edgar Stars, right? It's going to be like a special event that like everyone's going to remember and make memes about a year from now. And if I'm right, I'm sure that Supercell will be able to nerf him pretty quickly to make him more balanced and fix Brawl Stars again. I mean, Edgar Stars. With all that said, I want to know what you guys think about Edgar. How strong do you think he's going to be after watching this video? Like, do you agree with me? Do you think he's going to break the game? As a reminder, if you missed my Byron Olympics video, then you can check that out. I posted it yesterday. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe for high quality Brawl Stars videos videos like this one. Use code Kairos in Brawl Stars shop. And for now, guys, this is Kairos time ticking by. We will see you in Edgar Stars.